There are only a few minutes to go in the second half of this cup final match between Falcons and Ip. And still there is no score. Jerry has the ball and makes a magnificent run on the wing. Oh, what a player this man Jerry is. Last year he was playing for the Falcons but changed to the Eagles at the beginning of the season. Since then he has been their highest goal scorer. Jerry Santos. It is taken by Ross but he's robbed by Bennett. Taken by Jackson over the Falcons but saved by Gordy Brown. The Falcons are now on the other and Santos to Ross but he's swelled by Flash. We need the ball to Bennett. Bennett to Ross. Sigma, the ball is saved by Gordy Brown on the Eagles. The ball is now on the loose play over the other side of the field. There can be many minutes left in this game, and it must be well into an even shot. Oh, what a magnificent save by Gordy Brown. The play is fast and furious. Round of the Falcons goal, but Eagles just can't net it. And that was the final whistle for this cup tie. There will have to be a replay. Just listen to the crowd. He's the man, the man who fights evil. He's the man, the man who fights crime. He's the man no one can tie down. He's the man, the criminal's fear. He's the man that you can't get near. He's the man that money can't buy. Beware if he's looking for you. Hello, Lucas. Hello, Mr. Pogo. How's things going? Meet my friend Rocky, a football fan and very interested in the Eagles. How do you do? How do you do? It is not often I have a chance to watch the team training, but uh, Mr. Pogo invited me over. You're welcome. That was a very good game last Saturday, Lucas, but I think the boys will have to put in a little more effort if we are to win the cup. The boys are training hard. Just watch the ball control. Jerry and Flash are the backbone of the team. Jerry is 66 and Flesh is triple one. Just watch the... What are your chances for the cup? Come and meet the men it depends on. Can I get a picture? Not at the moment. Let me I have one my journal. You, Flesh and Jerry. Well, okay. Come on, your two. Come and have your picture taken. Uh, could you give me an idea? No, of no, 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 I have no more time. Please, my readers are very interested in the ego. Could I have an autograph, sir? And you, sir, okay. please? <laughs> it's all my job, Mr. Where's Mr. Lucas? Over there, son. There you are, son. No, 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 I've no more time. Day. Come on, you guys, back to work. I 
sure your scheme will work. I've done it before. You find a football team that depends on two or more players, like the Eagles. You bet heavily on the opponents, then bribe the players to change sides. And if they want the prize? Eliminate them. Simple, isn't it? I have reason to believe the Eagles need a new trainer. Well done, Sonny. Well done. I want those guys back with the Falcons by next week. If not, get rid of them. I'll hang around and wait for you, Joe. I won't be long. Okay, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Flesh. We need your help. I've heard about Lucas. No sign of the killer, I suppose. Uh-uh. But I know who's behind it. Who did it? The Vulture Gang. The Vultures? You know, last year, when Jerry and I left the Falcons, to play for Eagles. We were threatened. I'm sure it's them. And now they're meeting the Falcons for the cup final. Are they still bothering you? No, not the team, but the game handler. You see, they want us to join the Falcons so they can win the cup final. And you want me to keep them off your backs? Please, Joe, and you can help with training. Hey, anything else you want me to do? Please, Joe, until the cup final. Okay, Flesh. I'll do it. But you better win the cup. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. Dan Pogo speaking. How are you, Mr. Pogo? Very well, thanks. Who's that? That's not important. Listen carefully. This is our final warning. We want Flesh and Jerry to join the Falcons before the cup final. What are you talking about? You must be crazy. They are our best. Exactly. Impossible. Lucas refused our offer. And you are next. Lucas, this whole thing is ridiculous. I'm not prepared to discuss it any longer. Who are you? You've had your choice. Hello. Hello. What's wrong, Dad? I'm in serious trouble. I think I better go and warn Joe. Go get the car. What the hell? What the hell? Are you right? Yes. Let's go before they come back.
That's gate number two. That's the one Flesh and Jerry always use. Three days to get back to the Falcon. side of the field. Why? Don't ask questions now. Do it, man. Do it at once. Do it. Okay. Wait, that way, that way. Get in the car. Get in the car, quick. What's wrong? Trouble is wrong. Trouble is wrong. Come. Move. Don't worry. He'll never catch us in this car. Blow the whistle for me and keep them over to the other side. Then I'll go and tell the boss to let his working with the eagles. What happens now? They could really get us on our way home. Hmm. You guys have to stick together from now on. Hey, I've got a place out of town. Sounds great. Could we use it? Certainly. Hey, you guys, get your clothes together and get them over to the president's place, okay? I'll visit you at the farm one evening. Good luck with your new training quarters. You know you're always welcome, Rocky. <laughs> I'm an old man. They, they, they gave me money to, to drive to the farm. Are they still at the stadium? No, no, no. They went along the main road. Let him go. Ha, ha, ha. 
See you. Huh. What are you doing back here? Did you get away? Answer me! <coughs> Did you hear that, Sonny? They got away. Well, the cards will tell. If it's black, You'll get a beating. If it's red, make it quick. Take it. Take it. The carpet, son. The carpet. Take him outside. I'm sorry you failed. The reason why Lucas was killed was to set them an example. The attack on the president was only to alarm them. When the threats at the stadium were ignored, it was necessary to act against the president seriously. But thanks to Joe Bullitt, everything has come to nothing. Joe Bullitt must be eliminated. I have no intention of failing because of one man. There is a man named Spike Robbins who is a hired killer. Phone him at the gym. He'll be there now doing his karate exercises.
Hello. May I speak to Spike? Speaking. Spike! Sonny here. Listen, Spike, I have something in your line of business. Are you interested? Is it? Joe Bullet. I'm not interested. The reward will be high. Come on, Spike. What do you say? Ten grand. Nothing less. Ten grand? Okay. I'll come and see you tonight. Tonight. Ah, don't get up, my boy. Just take it easy. Easy now. You seem to have had a lucky break after tangling with Joe Bullet. But you made it, and I'm glad. How you escaped, I don't know. Sonny thought you had copped it. But he was wrong. Must have been tough. He caught me. Yeah, Sonny told me. He also said you put up a fight, enabling him to make his getaway. I hope he appreciates that. I like people in my organization to show spirit. It is almost a sure sign that you can rely on them. Trust them. And when one does things beyond the call of duty, I think they should be well rewarded. Ah! Hello? Joe Bullet here. Hello?
no doubt. With boys like Flash and Jerry, we can't lose. I've told you before. Come on, Jerry. Let's go into the dining room. Why do women change so much? What do you mean, Jerry? You know, one might think you've got your girl, and then the next thing another guy comes along. You mean Joe? I was your man, Beauty. Now all of a sudden it's Joe Bullet. I don't think Joe really cares about me. But you wish he did. Yes, I do. Hi, Jerry. She's all yours, lover boy. That's what the men said. Lover boss. Hi, Bennett. You enjoying yourself? Sounds good, man. Hi, folks. Hi, Joe. How's the training going? Well, now, that's a good question. They're in good shape for the cup final, but uh, they like spirit. Spirits? That's what I need right now. <laughs> Come on, Lillian. I organized this party just for that reason. Yes, but we must be very careful. These boys mean business. How did they know we were working at the farm? I don't know. That's very strange. Enjoy yourself. What's wrong with Jerry? You his girlfriend or something? Not really, Joe. I like him, but uh, no sparks fly. I see. Why so dull? Come on, cheer up, man, and let's enjoy the party. I've got nothing to cheer up about. I'm still getting threats. I feel like joining the Falcons, and I prefer it. Ah, we're the greatest boys. Look, we're a team. Remember, we got Joe Bullock behind us. We need to talk about one guy against the whole gang. Forget him in the end. But that's the only way, Jerry. And you know it. I'd rather play for the Falcons and stay alive. What's more, there's the money in it. Now, come of it. They'll never kill you. They just want you to kick the ball and score more goals for them. Kick the ball and score more goals? Then what about Lucas? Oh, well, he was merely a trainer. Glad to see you, Flash. Joe, I'm worried about the death of Lucas. And now they've blown up my dam. What next? Don't worry about that. I'll organize a bulldozer next week to repair the damage. You mean it? Tell me, Rocky. What's the secret of your success? It's simple. It's like a game. As long as you make the first move. I've known Rocky for very many years. He used to be professor of zoology, specializing in reptiles. Then he started the sideline business as an excavating contractor. He's a methodical man and perseveres in everything he does. And another thing, I have a lot of patience and I don't make mistakes. No matter how good you are, sooner or later, one makes a mistake. Uh -huh. Not me, boy. I'm too clever, and I don't make mistakes. Please cut me another piece of pork, Rocky. See you around. Okay.
Is that Joe Bullet? Speak. You don't know me, Mr. Bullet. My name is Fred. I have important information for you about the bomb in your apartment last night. Will you meet me at the railway station at nine o'clock? I'll introduce myself. Platform number two, coach number 8681, compartment F. Nine o'clock sharp. Okay, Fred. He's the man no one can tie down. He's the man that common most fear. He's the man that you can't get near. He's the man that money can't buy. Looking for you, oh, pity is the last thing you'll get. You'll have to night and day until he finds your hideaway. You will see the giant of a man. The fire in his voice You will feel The touch of his hand Now should you survive You'll never forget Moments of terror You'll always regret He writes the wrong And keeps it that way I'm worried. It's three days before the cup final. If the gang is going to move, they'll do it today. I want you to mix with the crowd and keep your eyes open. 
If you see anything suspicious, please let me know. Okay, Joe. I'm meeting Flash and Jerry at gate two. Okay. They were lucky we missed the panel. Yes, it was a tough match. It was. Hi, Jerry. I'm going to keep my stuff here. Shoot. Sure. Thanks. Say, uh, Russia, will you tell Joe to meet us outside gate number two? Yes. We're waiting okay, for beauty. Come on, Jerry. They're meeting beauty at gate number two. Listen. All this. Look, if I'm not picked before the cup final, tell the manager to use two reserves, all right? What's the Nothing wrong. But say that you win the cup, huh? Right. Don't worry, we will. Now listen, you guys. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. Have you seen Flesh and Jerry? No, not anywhere, no. Okay. Where's Flesh? In the ambulance outside. Come, boy, come and show me. You know, Popeye, the position is serious. The president has lost his daughter and the team, their best players. Unless we find them, the Eagles don't stand a chance in the cup final tomorrow. If only we could find out who is their leader. This corruption in sport must stop. Look, Popeye. Are you sure you have never seen this sign before? It's a deal with a lightning flash going through it. Now, are you sure this means nothing to you? It seems to ring a bell. It does? I know I've seen it. I know where I've seen it. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. Do you know where they are? I don't know. The ambulance took off before we got to the car. They must have gone down to the old mine. The place is heavily guarded. You can't just walk in there by yourself. I know the place, but I've got to be a bird to get in there. Hey, you're giving me an idea. Let's go.
Hey, wait a minute. There it is. Now just remember, count ten, then pull the cord, all right? Count ten and pull the cord for five. I can't. I Come can't. On. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Did they give a workout? I can't take much more of this. They're going to kill Beauty if you don't play for the Falcon. It's built like a bank here. Yeah. We'll never get out. Didn't you better play for them? I mean, these guys might kill Beauty and it's going Don't kill yourself! Snap out of it, Jerry. They'll never let you go. Whether we play or not. Okay, okay. I only hope Joe Bullet manages to find us. Hey, you guys. Talking about me again. Joe. Come here. Come here. Stand way away from the door. I'll try and break it down. Okay. Right.
grab the car and get to the stadium. And don't worry, I'll get beauty. And you win that match for us. Cheer up, honey. It won't be long. Leave me alone. Over. Joe Pulis is here with another man. The footballers have escaped. What? What? Attention! Two strangers have entered our premises. I want the big one alive. Bring him to my office. Are you all right, Popeye? Stadium, the Falcons take the field for the cup final replay against the Eagles. It will be a very interesting match, as I understand, that Flash and Jerry, the Eagles' best players, may very well be absent today. Take this time, Rocky. Pass me that toy. 
Now. No. No. Burger 32. Junk. I never trusted you. You rotten pig. But we've all made mistakes. Shut up, you fool. I could have killed you much earlier. Only I want to have my fun before I leave. Leave? Yes. In four hours' time, I'll be across the border. Safe, sound, and rich. And... And a beautiful girl to keep me company. <laughs> Bitch! Don't ever try that again. I could have given you everything, Beauty. Don't. If only you'd listen to me. No. Leave my love. Leave my love! <laughs> You don't want me? <laughs> Nobody interferes with my business and live. You want him? The Egyptian cobra might well be termed the most sensational vibrant, near toxic. It can strike at any moving object faster than the mamba, aims accurately, can spit accurately, and can kill a man in five minutes, even the great Joe Bullet. <laughs> There are only a few minutes to go in this cup final replay. Oh, what a magnificent match. No score so far. These teams are so evenly matched that anything could happen. The Falcons guard are around as Ross changes his shots, which got torn in that last exchange. And then Pogo, the president of the Eagles, takes the opportunity of having a final word with the team. And there goes the whistle, and the play is on. Still no score in one of the toughest matches. And then shoot, but the ball is stopped by Cody Brown. He had a chance this time for a moment, but was robbed by Bennett. Now the play is very red and developing into two men duels. 
Why doesn't Baker Fazi has lost it? It's taken by Ross who passes it to Flash. Flash runs up the wing. What a magnificent run. There's nobody who can get it. He's holding it well into the Falcons' half. The crowd cheers him. He's going mad. He steadied himself and shoots. It's a goal! Goal! And there goes the final whistle. The Eagles have won by one goal to nil. And that was a magnificent match where the Eagles will suddenly have lost and Teddy and Flush not turn up at the last moment. And by winning this game, the Eagles have proved to be this year's champion of champs and now once again back to the studios. Lost my money. My money. Come on, Rocky, hurry. I've got contact. Come on! We, we, we must get out of here, Sonny. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Now give me that thing. Come on. I've got contact. Please hurry. They want you. Calling Delta Zulu Juliet. This is 212 decimal 5. Over. Calling Delta Zulu Juliet. This is 010 Ray. Calling Delta Zulu Juliet. This is 010 Ray. 212 decimal 5. Over. Calling Delta Zulu Julian. This is 010 Ray. 212 decimal 5. Over. Get the plane ready in one hour. We're leaving for headquarters. Over and out. You'll have to pass me. 
to get out. <laughs> That's why. That's why I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 